Base camp is just too hard. I don't get it. The program doesn't make sense and I abandon it. Those are things friends have told me about Basecamp. Those who have watched my Basecamp videos say they now get it and actually like the program. Hi, welcome back to Easy Moto Tim. Over the years, I've created a number of tutorials on using Garmin Basecamp. Those are the most watched videos on my channel. I've learned from my viewers' comments that while the tutorials are very good, there are still a few gaps I need to fill in, so I'm creating a few videos covering new topics. All of my Basecamp videos are available on my website, easymototim.com, so if YouTube doesn't suggest the other videos, you can find them on my website. Also, I've created a whole slew of shorts. Each short explains the use of one icon in the Basecamp toolbar. Look for those on my website as well. Before we get too far into this, I want you to know that I use the Windows version of Basecamp. If you have a Mac, you can watch these videos for the techniques and watch other videos that cover the Mac version. If you have a Garmin GPS and the Windows version of Basecamp, then you're in the right place. The number one topic I haven't covered is the difficulty in learning Basecamp. The program doesn't operate the way other routing programs do. The way the mouse operates is very frustrating. You expect the mouse to do one thing, but something else happens, or nothing happens at all. Don't miss my video, Why is Basecamp so hard? in which I attempt to explain why the Basecamp design is so difficult and how to overcome its quirkiness. Another issue that users have is that Basecamp just draws routes as straight lines between waypoints. Basecamp is free and it ships with a global map, but you can't do routing with that map. When the global map is active, Basecamp draws route segments as straight lines. In order for routes to follow roads on the map, you need the maps that come with your Garmin GPS or a paid subscription to the City Navigator maps. Stick around because the last topic in this video will be a tutorial on loading the Garmin maps to your computer using Garmin Express. There are some features I overlooked in past videos. New videos will cover those features. The topics include defining areas to avoid when creating routes, importing photos into Basecamp and geotagging photos, importing geocaching waypoints, adding open source maps, and importing bird's eye images. A bird's eye image is just a satellite view of an area. Recently there has been talk of Garmin abandoning Basecamp in favor of Garmin Explore. Explore is a website and Explore is a mobile app. It's unfortunate that Garmin confused us by naming the website and the app the same thing. The two are connected but not the same. Look for my upcoming videos that attempt to explain the architecture of Garmin's world of cloud, website, apps, and devices. Basecamp was updated in May 2021. It's far more powerful than Garmin Explorer, so for now, let's stick with Basecamp. The general setup video is the most watched video on my channel. It's important to configure Basecamp before you start using it. The general setup video will get you started on the right track. After the general setup, there are two videos on routes. In the first, I show you four ways to create a route, and in the second, I demonstrate several techniques for modifying a route. You'll see how to drag, split, combine, and duplicate routes. Next, there are two videos on creating waypoints 
and adding waypoints to a route. Other videos in the series include using the search function to find points of interest, organizing your routes and waypoints using folders, working with databases, importing maps from Google Maps and a discussion of tracks versus routes, using the trip planner, importing custom waypoints or points of interest, importing custom waypoint symbols, creating transparent custom waypoint symbols in bitmap or PNG format, and creating a custom waypoint symbol from scratch. Now, let's get to loading Garmin Maps on your computer. I'm going to assume you have downloaded and installed Basecamp and Garmin Express. You need to connect your GPS to your computer and open Garmin Express. Okay, I have plugged in my Zumo 665 to my computer and I've started Garmin Express. This is the home screen. I'll click on my device, which brings up this screen. Now, the tendency is probably to just click on Install All. There are three updates and that will put them on your device. But the clue is to go over here where it says View Details, which brings up the details of the three packages that are available to install. You can then install them one at a time or just the ones you want. Now here's the next clue where it says Installation Options. Click on that. That expands the screen and here is where you get the choice of where you want to install. It, the default is device only, but you can put it on both your device and your computer or just on the computer for Basecamp to use. I usually install it both on the device and the computer at one time. So I've select that and then you click install and it will go off and do it. And you know it takes a while to update uh, these new packages. So I just get it running and go do something else. So that's all there is to it. That's how you install the maps for Basecamp on your computer. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please leave a comment and a thumbs up so YouTube will suggest this video to others. Remember to look for the Basecamp is Hard and General Setup videos, and then the other videos in this series. Remember, you can find all the videos easily on my website. If you want to support the channel, please visit the Amazon pages on my website where I have affiliate links to products I use. Also, many thanks to those who have bought me a cup of coffee on buymeacoffee.com. In any case, I appreciate your support and all the positive comments. I'll see you in the next video.